designer babies. You hear that and you think, that's weird. Babies with upgrades. That's right, upgrades. Parents picking desired traits. Intelligence, height, athleticism, and the list goes on and on. This genetically modified human may even be healthier than you, than your generation. And you're probably thinking to yourself right now, oh well, she's going to tell us about the far, far away sci-fi future. But in reality, this is really possible for us just a few years from now. It all starts with CRISPR technology, a simple yet powerful tool for editing genomes. It allows researchers to easily alter DNA sequences and modify gene functions. Its many potential applications include correcting genetic defects, treating and preventing disease, and improving crops. So what is it? It focuses on a certain spot in the DNA and rewrites the genetic code in that location. With healthier genetically modified um, humans, governments are definitely going to take interest in the genetic modification and will encourage its root. This year, in 2020, predictions are made that the following techno innovative technologies will continue to evolve, improve, and be adopted by many more clinical laboratories around the world to advance patient care, including the use of CRISPR for molecular diagnostic and therapeutic applications. Sure, I wouldn't have minded to be taller with a better singing voice. That was my reaction when I first heard of CRISPR, thinking, what if they designed my cousin Zena to be injury resistant? Then she would have continued track and became a world champion runner. But then I realized that wasn't exactly the case. After I did some research and discovered the risks and unethical aspects of modifying genetics, more than just increased narcissism and aggressiveness, I decided to bring it to your attention. While human embryos in China were modified to prevent HIV, as you may have heard in the news recently, He Jiangku, the, the Chinese scientist, on the 25th of November in 2018, reported the creation of genetically modified human embryos. This was the first time, and he did it using CRISPR. Um, and it isn't hard to imagine how these new technologies could be placed in the hands of racist, eugenistic, or genocidal governments of the future. At the, at the same time, we must avoid the trap of becoming completely opposed to this new fascinating technology. And to avoid, to avoid the trap of technocracy, humans must govern technology, not the reverse. These new biotechnologies hold the potential to cure and prevent disease, to promote human flourishing, but only if the deployment of, gov uh, of technology is governed by morality. Thank you.